What's going on, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and I'm joined with Kubal98. It's good to be back. Alright, so this is episode 9. Thank you guys for waiting. It's been a while. I had to work on some other videos, and we're trying to figure out some new strategies moving forward with the Pokemon that we have and all that. But thank you guys for sticking around. What we have here today is episode 9, and um, I literally just said that, but episode 9 is going to be a goozy because we are expecting to have a ton of tough fights. Now, this episode is going to be 26, 27, 28, yep. no, 27, 28, 29, and then we're going to save... Mm the master trainer in episode 10. Does that sound ideal? Because I think that's a way for us to make the videos shorter. And, you know, the the master trainer fights tend to be a little bit longer. Do you agree with me? Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and connect here. We actually have a few changes to our lineup, and we'll go over them individually. Let me go ahead and find that team. Uh, we're going to have Garchomp again. Garchomp's been the MVP in this series. But the Gengar is back. I'm going to change things up with Gengar. Right? Instead of Sludge Wave, which targets a lot of Pokemon at once, I'm going to change it to Sludge Bomb. So you'll see Sludge Bomb instead of Sludge Wave. Everything else is the same. It's a Mega Gengar. Cool Ball 98, what are you bringing? I think you have a few changes. Bringing defensive Alakazam. All right, cool. I like him. And Incineroar. All right, so yes. He's bringing Incineroar. And what's different about Incineroar? Uh, do you want to tell him that it has a lot more moves and it's got the Z power move? Yeah. I kind well, of spoiled it a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> it has a different moves moveset yes. than the starter Pokemon that I started off with. Yes, because I think he used Incineroar at one point, And... It didn't really have all the moves. Yeah, so, it was not great. Mm -hmm. So we kind of changed it a nope. little bit. Gave it a Z-Power, because we haven't used a Z-Power yet in this series. So we mm -hmm. might as well use it right about now. Right about now, right? Yeah. So we're connecting right now. Cut. Cut. that later still. You're doing it. By the way, what were you doing? Hmm? You should have been... I thought you were already connected. Yeah, I was, but then it went error. There was an error? Did yep. It? Oh, yeah. shit. Then, uh... An error occurred and it knocked me out. Yeah. <laughs> ah, kick you out? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's all right. Uh, we'll, we'll resume the actual recording when we get to the battle scene. Ah, oh, dude, did you just screw up again? <laughs> <laughs> No, take your time. It's still recording. I'm gonna edit all this part out, you know, post editing <laughs> for the win. Are you kidding? It's gonna be fun trying to find everything and modify that huge ass clip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm still connecting. So, so you're going to start with who? Who are you going to start with? Incineroar? Alakazam. Alakazam, okay. And that's protect, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. Okay, not yet, not yet. Not yet. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Are you ready for episode nine? Because we're about to start. See what our opponent is going to be bringing this time. You excited, Kubal? Most definitely. All right. I like your attitude. It's amazing. You're giving me so much confidence. <laughs> I like it. All right. So we're facing these ranchers and workers, Executor and Sylveon. All right. It's a mm. lull in Executor, no less. Yep. Shark Bite, the Garchomp with... Mega Alakazam. It's a defensive Alakazam, so hopefully this works out in our favor. Choice Scarf. Oh no, it revealed the identity of my Garchomp. That sucks. <laughs> it's 
that's okay though. So, what do you want to do? I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. Perfect. It targets both Pokemon, so... Now, I could do the same thing, but I don't want to. I'm going to go for the Iron Heads, so I can hit the Sylveon. It's risky to use Outrage because I could target Sylveon, who is immune to it. So we see Alexam, Mega Evolving. Perfect. See what it's going to do. Trace the Pixel Lake ability, which is actually pretty useful if you have a normal type attack. Ooh, this is definitely going to help. Yes, the iron head damage. Oof. You were saying, I mean, okay, I know it's a defensive Alexam, but that did no damage. I I'm, know. I'm disappointed. Like, what happened there? Well,. There's got to be trade-offs in here somewhere, because, man, that did nothing. It was actually m more effective against the Executor and not the Sylveon. Oh, that so that was... actually makes sense Yeah, I that guess... they didn't do that much damage. So why don't you target the ex Executor and I can finish off the Sylveon, if you know that's the case. <laughs> you know, you, you make those assumptions, and you just face the reality that, oh my gosh, this should happen now. But, oh well. So we go for the Iron Heads? And it's off the Sylveon. Now, depending on what the next Pokemon is, I might have to switch up. Okay, does, great. Yeah. Does some damage. Wow, what's up with all the Pokemon game berries all of a sudden? <laughs> I have no idea. Hypnosis? Oh, oh yes. That's it, good. It missed. I am very grateful. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is where we get a little bit strategic because... If you recall, we faced a Slacken before in one of the episodes. Yes. So it's going to you attack us. So we want to use Protect on that turn. As for me, I'm going to go for Iron Head. It's not going to be effective to Zekitor, but it's going to do some damage. So I go into the Protect. Mm -hmm. Iron Head is going to target the Zekitor. I Get an impact. I was scared about that. Wow! Oh, crap! That is a ton of damage to my end there. Okay, well, the good news is I have a Gengar, so he can't use Giga Impact. And he has three charge for a turn, so we get a few <laughs> freebies in here somewhere. So Gengar is. I think in... like one or two. Yeah, one or two freebies. So I'm gonna go for the Mega Evolution. At this point, I'm going to. Hmm. Zekitor is not doing much damage. I'm not scared of it. So well, it's case, just annoying, so I would suggest just... I would probably just go for Dazzling Gleam, because I thought you could probably target the slacking or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's just, it makes a lot more sense. Yes, it does. Because we need to take care of the slacking. It's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, oh no, you're trying to protect again? Yep. You should attack the Slag Gang, actually. It's okay, we took out Zegitor, so yeah, we need to take care of the... I mean, it makes sense, the fact that it's recharging, but at the same time, you should have attacked it. Yeah. That's fine. We'll, we'll work it out. So we have Electifier here. I'm not sure what it's going to do. So I'm going... To... I should be faster than it. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Where are you going for? I don't know if it's going to attack me or if, ta or if the stacking is going to attack me or you. Yeah. So just in case, again, I'm going to go into protect. Okay, great. So I'm going to... Hang on a second. This is where our thinking cap's going to full swing. Mm -hmm. um, slacking can't go for Giga Impacts on me. I can do it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably go for the Sludge Bomb on slacking and try to poison it. And yeah. that's why I'm going for the protect just in case it attacks me. Yeah. Sludge bomb. And oh! Oh my <laughs> god! Yes! Alrighty. Wow, it, both of the Pokemon were trying to target you. It's and yet it didn't work. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, this made it a whole lot more easier for us, right? For this battle? Yes. I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. 
And let's see what... Okay, so we still got slacking. That's great. Perfect. So that's the last <laughs> of that side. Psychic. Oh my goodness. This Electivire is pretty bulky. Is a beast. On the defensive front, yes. Um, I'm not sure if it has a lot of attack investment. This speed fall is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We should be good to go here. If anything, this Electivire could go for an electric type attack and take me out, but I have Destiny Bond, and that's a priority move, I think. It should be a priority move. So if it takes me out, we handle the Electivire, Ooh. so. Yes. Uh, but that does not matter because we go for the Shadow Ball, but <laughs> it was just a last resort kind of thing. Anyway, so that's the end of the first battle. We have two more to go. This is looking pretty good here. And so far, I haven't had to use with the Incineroar. That's good. We might have to use him at some point, but... As um, of right now, nope. Yeah, so we got 4 PP out of that. Now we're moving forward to 27. Yep. Communicating. Please stand by. That was quick. Yeah. Let's do number 27. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you are enjoying it, make sure you give it a thumbs up this video and share around. Because this series is amazing. Like, we're having fun with this. <laughs> yes. We're having loads of fun. Yes. Who knew that, you know, collaborations can do so much. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have an Avalog and Lycan Rock Day Forum, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is Day Forum. Yeah, it's Day. It's not... I night. Forgot. It's not the Dust, yeah, dust Forum or... Midnight. Midnight. That, that, that's the day for him. I, I think I that, Yeah, that is the day for him. I know because I have it. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Um, well, it looks like, so, Avalog. Avalog I is could not... switch out into the Incineroar, but I'm not this turn. Okay. I'm just letting you know that Avalog is not going on the special side, so Psychic is going to do a ton of damage to it. Uh, for me, though, uh, I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. It's going to be effective to Lycan Rock, too. I'm looking for the flinch. That's what I'm going for, really. So, my Alakazam reacts to its Mega Stone. Yes. Tracing the Sand Rush ability. Rock Slug it hits both Pokemon this time. I'm very happy about it. Right. Doesn't do too much, but yeah. I'm hoping this move will do a bit more. There you go, yeah. It did some damage. It did a pretty oh, decent no. amount. Oh no. Well, it's a little late for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, it has a berry for the special defense boost, but it's not going to matter in the long run. Frost <laughs> Breath? What? This should not kill me. If it does, I'll be disappointed. Alright, cool. That was a critical hit, wow. <laughs> of critical hits go, uh, I would say it's, it's mediocre. Yeah. Oh no, this thing has uh, a Z power move. Uh, it's probably Continental Crush. And it's. Z oh, oh no! <laughs> I was wrong! Okay, I apologize. Stealth Z move Stealth Rock. Now, the thing about those moves is that I don't know what they do. It's literally the same thing as regular Stealth Rocks. Yeah, it is. So then, why is it called Z power? Why is it Z Stealth Rock? I have to look it up, but I'm missing something. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, so we took out both of those Pokemon. The Stealth Rocks are up, so we have to be aware of that. We see a Tyrantrum. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> okay. And a Verathorn as well. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you're in Cinderor to have a field day, but just be aware of Tyrantrum. Um, yeah. Um, I am locked in on Rock Slide, so I'm thinking of... I have a now. move that will... That's super effective against Tyrantrum, though. Yeah. Which is good. Do. Yeah, it's good. That's good. I'm switching on to Gengar here. Gengar... If this Tyranitum goes for the, uh... If it goes for any attack, it's going to wipe out my Gengar. I mean, oh! Well, let's see. Got it down to more than half. Alright. That's good. Sandstorm! That's great! <laughs> <laughs> it's not an actual attack, but... Hey, it oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Wow. It goes up <laughs> Wow, you're too fast So that... Wow, I was scared for a minute there, but... <sighs> oh my goodness, this fight, though. This fight this, is for real. This fight is... It's actually very 
funny, but like what at exactly the same time? Yeah, it's like what is happening here, and then all these are happening, and you're trying to keep track of what's happening. <laughs> you, the viewers out there, you're doing the exact same thing. So, I don't blame you. Anyway, so we see Mega Gengar again. Gasoline Gleam, I'm actually going for that move too. <laughs> We're seeing double the Gasoline Gleam. So it's like Gasoline so, Gleam times two. <laughs> so it should, t yeah, it should definitely take out the Tarantaron. Yeah, at this point. You're going down, my friend. All right, now this. Payback, okay. Yeah, it's going to target you. <laughs> you should probably survive it. Yeah, no. Nope. I lied. Oh, I wasn't a critical hit. Okay. Cool. Well, it won't really matter. And guess what? You did say you wanted to use Incineroar, so you got your chance right now. So, Incineroar makes so its I debut. So I could use its Z move, but against a fair throw, eh, not really yeah. a good. Fire type moves are going to easily wipe it out. So for me, I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's going to help you out for sure. I'm faster. Shadow Ball. Let's see use. how. Yeah. How much it's helpful. Oh, that, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Look at that. Fire punch. Booyah. Done. Uh-oh. Iron barbs. You got hurt? It doesn't matter. We'll heal, <laughs> we'll, heal you, we'll heal you with a potion. It's like, yeah, let's just do that. Um, Here's a free potion. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do that right now. See that? They're healing our Pokemon like that. We get 4 BP out of that. It's like, yeah, I got hurt by the Iron Bugs. Give me my, ba my battle points. <laughs> yes. So this is the last battle for this video. Who knew? And we're about 16 minutes. Oh, 17, actually. By the time of this recording. And, and then we have to, to talk about our uh, predictions as well. Yes. We're going to save the Master Trainer for the next fight. Or the, I mean, no. <laughs> the next video. Yeah, but we'll make our predictions uh, before we end the video. So, you're going to have to wait on the Master Trainer. I'm sorry. We, we That's a decision that we made. and Yeah, we, we made it so that the Master Trainers, because they take <laughs> so long. They do. <laughs> that the, it will be... It's own separate video. Yeah, so don't worry about the other ones. There they are as they are. Um, but, you know, for future references, we're going to make them a separate video. Anyway, so we're going to go into our final match, uh, number 28. And we face a Cocklebear and a Mawile. Not sure if Mawile is going mega or not. I am, um, I am afraid of it. Um, can you protect or do you already... I'm, uh, I'm already... Oh, no. Okay. I'm already going in, in it. I'm going after the... Gronkodor. The Gronkodor? Okay. Because I can't Gronkodor. really... Because this Mawile is pretty annoying. I... I am going to stay in. I'm going to try to flinch it. It's not super effective. I'm going for Rock Slide. That's right. I'm hoping to flinch it. Because obviously a Pyro Rough is going to kill me. Um, I don't have... You do have Incineroar. So yes, I do good. have Incineroar in the... Okay. As my second. Yeah, make sure he's around because you might have to use him. This small while, this small while is afraid. Uh, I mean, I'm afraid of it. Sorry, I am afraid of it. But Conqueror goes down. Perfect. Shadow what? Ball. What? Okay, this small while is a little unique. <laughs> I mean, you had a wide open guard shop right there, and you decided to use Shadow Ball on that one Pokemon. That uh, I don't understand these things. Anyway, don't uh, understand logic. Yes, this is logic <laughs> by its finest in the wrongest <laughs> place possible. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the CPU is just acting dumb. I don't know. Uh -oh. Why do you think I said don't understand logic? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Luckily, though, I am targeting in the mobile the best I can. I haven't gotten a flinch yet, which is crazy, because I've had so many good luck with that. Psychic? Nope. Yes. Not, not today. Oh, but how does he move? See what it is. I knew I was afraid of it. I was definitely afraid of it. Twinkle Tackle. <laughs> Watch, you can't kill me. You can't kill me. Watch. What? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Garchomp, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there was Goodbye. nothing I could do. I oh, survived what? it! I survived it! You're kidding me! What? What? 
Guys, I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> well, we're... How? I'm confused. I'm going to be a few, but I'm, I'm grateful. I'm going to be grateful at this point. And... Oh, th this should... Wow. This should <laughs> take the... Leaf Storm. Uh-oh. Leaf Storm against... That's me. All right. Well, Garchomp... Uh... Goodbye, Garchomp. Yeah. I mean... To be fair, he was here for a very long time, a lot longer than I anticipated. Psychic is going to target the Sceptile, and... Goodbye! <laughs> 1v1. <laughs> well, please. Oh, we got the punch. Perfect. Yep. Now we're going to go to 2v1, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, because we have to take out the Marwile and then the secondary Pokemon. Uh, so yeah. Mega Evolution? I don't have a really... Good attack, except for Shadow Ball, so I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, I, mm. the Shadow Ball for me isn't that good, so. You gonna switch out? You yeah, switching out. Cool. Yeah, because I don't know if this is going to KO. And luckily, you still have Drow Kazam in the back if anything goes wrong with your Incineroar. <laughs> Why do you think Oh I no! This Marwile is a badass, but I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think. I switched out so that yeah, I... Yeah, it's super effective. It's super effective. The viewers should know that. It's, it's super effective. All right, then. Shackle Ball. Let's see how much this does. Shackle Ball. And... Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, Insanor. Well, I mean, you can still do this. You can still do this. We have Vespaquin. Okay. There you go. There's something for you. <laughs> I'm going for Destiny Bond for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just going to do it just in case. Uh-oh. Well, this, that happened. This is going to be... Yeah, Destiny Bond. For those who don't know, Destiny Bond makes it so that if the attacking Pokemon that you're facing takes you out, it's going to go down as well. It's like a double down. So those are Double the, whammy. Those are the best types of downs, gosh darn it. Uh, so I'm going for Storage Bomb. It's not super effective. I'm not sure why the last one went for Protect. It's making this video longer. And we're almost done with this video, so. So, what? I'm actually not going to use my Fire-type move this turn. Oh. You will see what I do soon enough. Well, let's see. If. <laughs> yeah, you're good. All right, we poison this thing. Yay. This thing is, what, Quick Order or something? Hey, we're using the Z power. Yep. <laughs> Finally, look at that. And it's going to be the moon salt, malicious moon salt attack. There it mm. is. Malicious moon salt. Yeah. There you go. This should knock it out. If not, <laughs> I'll have so many questions for you. <laughs> Z moves are really darn effective. And what? Are you kidding me? I what? Know. Oh! Yes! That's a great combination. That is a great combination. Taking it down to the oh bare minimum. Yes. And then poison. Yes, take take on the poison. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Wow, so we're at 30. 30. Wow. All right, so you want to make some predictions? So who are we facing from the Master Trainer? Because this is probably going to be a tough fight. We don't know who's going to be. I say... N and then Diantha. Diantha, oh wow. I predict Grimsley or Trainer Red. I don't know. I don't think I don't know when you face Trainer Red, but Trainer Red is, is like Trainer Red and Blue we will be if we get this high, we'll be at the very, very end. Okay, so that's out of the question. So I still say Grimsley and then we faced Cynthia so many times. I'm gonna pick Cynthia, because you never know. I mean, Cynthia is very common, so. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching this oh, episode. Oh, predictions about uh -oh. Sun and Sword and Shield? That's coming up, guys. That's a video we'll be doing. Yep. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna do, uh, this is episode 9. We finish this. And then look out for our predictions for Sword and Shield. That is something that we're talking about. And thankfully, Cobalt 98 reminded me of it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channels. Check out our playlist for the other matches that we've done for this series. We'll see you for episode 10. Oh Good. yeah. Goodbye, trainers.